Hey, what's up? It is your girl Beyonce Aloysius from the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Hot 1079, and I am here because the Millennium Tour is back, and of course, I have the one and only Sammy in the building. Yeah, how you doing, Queen? I am wonderful. You? I'm blessed. Thanks now, for first of me. all, uh -huh. first of all, I just uh -huh. gotta say this. You know, growing up in Atlanta, yep. I just want to say I grew up on Sammy. So I appreciate that. I appreciate everything you've done for music, Thank you. publicly, and also for all that those who don't know, you know, all the writing you've done for other people yeah. like Tank yep. and Ghost Writing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Okay, so if we had to play a game, yeah, and you had to rhyme a name, who is somebody famous that you've ghost written for that people would be surprised about? Because I know there's a lot. Because um, you're getting checks. Yeah, if we had to rhyme a name. Yeah, like, um, if you had to say Ali, you'd be like, Shmully. <clears throat> um, try not to tell on myself, because when you're a ghost, you have to be a ghost. I know, that's why you rhyme it, I like it, it. Um, I would just say, uh, Shmay Shmonge. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I think would, I figured can, that one out. Yeah. So for all those out there, you know, that's a little gem right there. Yeah. Now, the Millennium Tour... Yep. When when does it kick off? Uh, February 29th. We uh we're in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Uh, my birthday is March 1st, so we'll be in Indianapolis the day after. So I'll get to rock the stage on my B day, which is awesome. That is awesome. Um, but yeah, everybody get your tickets, man. GSquaredEvents.com. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying to be a part of such a uh, it was a phenomenal tour last year. Uh, Lloyd brought me out, so I got to see you know. Uh, a, a the reaction, and then he brought me out. I did. I like it. And Atlanta went crazy when I came out there. So they just did. to be on there this time with my peers and to put my little mark on the legacy that the Millennium Tour brand has uh, created is a is a humbling experience. So are y'all like going through rehearsals and everything? Yeah, right now? I just had a four uh, hour rehearsal yesterday. I'm wow. back in today, uh, two thirty to six thirty. I'm getting so it in. Are you coming out early, middle, late? Um, I would say be on time. Okay. Yeah, I would say okay. to everybody, be on time. I'm just, you know, the thing is, it's just like uh, there's an element of surprise. We have all have uh, records together. We have all have this natural chemistry together. I've done records with Lloyd. I've done records with Bao, Pretty Ricky, and my brothers. Um, I got records with Yin Yang Twins. So, Soulja Boy, Kiss Me Through the Phone. You know what Last I mean? So, year, it kind of makes sense. What's just... one of the best shows I think I've seen is, I mean, and I have not seen that many just straight up ladies at yeah. State Farm Arena. Yeah ever singing every single song and the other cool thing was that from the very jump of the show i was mad like i probably got there about 15 minutes late and you miss something yeah. i was so mad i couldn't even believe chingy was on that early shout and, out to chingy yep chingy but you know what? Twins opened up i think last year when yeah. you look at the lineup and how many high caliber artists there mm -hmm. are on the show it's like you, you don't want to miss anything you got to get there on yeah. time or you're going to miss somebody so everybody be be on time um it's going to be awesome, though. And you know even Ashanti's on the show now. Yeah, shout out to Ashanti. I'm excited. Y'all yeah. got a girl on there, a female yeah, yeah, yeah. representing. That makes so sense. That makes sense. A lot of sense. We're excited it. about that. Now, what else do you have going on? You have new music coming For out? For sure. I just released an uh, EP in December called okay. Sin Nudes. Okay. Um, and then... Uh, Sin Nudes. Sin, Sin Nudes. Sin nudes. Like sin oh, nudes. I thought it was like some kind of funky camera. No, nah, but let me tell you what that means. So it's not okay. like literally sin nudes. It's uh, just being transparent, being vulnerable, being naked out here. Like I think social media has triggered us to just be like posting our highlights and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, filtering out our blemishes. I think like imperfection is beautiful. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I think being, uh, having flaws is beautiful. So you know own what I'm saying? Your flaws, you own your flaws. Love and I don't and, care if you're not ready, baby. Yeah. Just go ahead and send me a new. <laughs> or that. Or that. Or that. Or that. But um, I'm just I just completed my fifth studio album, so I fly out to San Francisco uh, on the thirteenth actually to play it and turn it in. Okay. Um, I wanted to dedicate the past two months just to the album, and then the next three months, of course, to being the best performance thing I can be for the tour. That is awesome. So the so fifth album is done, though. With the tour, how many um cities are y'all going to? Thirty two cities. Wow. Every weekend we booked and busy. Wow. Are you ready for this? Oh, for sure. I was born for this. I mean, this is all I know. You know, I've dedicated twenty years to. Uh, being a, a singer, songwriter, performer. So and I'm most comfortable on stage. So, how, um, I also heard that you have a candle line coming out. Yeah, Pure Love is a scent. Um, pure Love? And Pure Honey. What is your favorite scent? Um, out of those two, mm -hmm. uh, Pure Love. You and where can saying? people find it if they want to get uh, something? Shout out to Poppin' Pearls. It's a location out in Conyers, Georgia, but we're also making it where you can buy it uh, uh -huh. from the site. Yeah, from okay. the site. Um, I'm taking a few out on the road, too, along with, like, the hoodies and dad hats and T-shirts that I'm selling uh, at Millennium Tour okay. 2020. We're taking some candles out there, too. Ladies, it's perfect. Your, you can bur we can burn a Sammy candle and play a Sammy album. It sets the mood. And, okay. fellas, y'all can thank me later. It's a beautiful situation. Yeah. Now, you know, one thing I did not know about you. I was reading an article on Essence online, 
and you know, of course, you came. You've been doing this for twenty years. Yep. It's such a long time. Yeah, since nineteen ninety nine. And you have learned so many lessons. Big and facts. One thing I did not know, because a lot of people are like, you know, Sammy, but he was so hot. He had this hit single. He mm -hmm. had other music coming out. But then it's kind of like everything at one point went cold for a minute. Yeah. And the backstory behind all of that, right. and the manager trying to blackmail you, and yeah. I did not know. No that. one knew. No one knew. Um, except if you was real close to me, you knew. But uh. So, for those who don't know, and okay. you didn't read the article. Yeah. So you were you've known this your manager since at I the was time, twelve since you were twelve years old. Yep. And you had this huge single come out. Yep. And then you're like, hey, you know, I want to focus on, you know, school. school yeah. And, you know, get my life together. And then, you know, maybe I'll go back to music and stuff like that. So he literally took everything from you? Yeah. Um, I trusted him. You know what I'm saying? Like, the worst thing I've ever done in my career is trust somebody, like, you know, and, and assume that they were cut from the same cloth that I was cut from. So uh, I've known this person since I was 12. Went to high school after I Like It and Crazy Things I Do For Love from the bottom to the top hardball. Like, that was my first stint, 1999 to 2001. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I wanted a sense of normalcy because having stardom so fast and fame so fast, I wasn't able to just play basketball. I wasn't Which able I to play pop one football. Like, it took my childhood away. And my mom and my dad uh, felt that it was imperative to enjoy being a kid. It was the best thing they could have ever done for me. It's mm -hmm. why I'm so humble and down to earth because I understand, like, the significance of myself outside of being on tour, mm -hmm. outside of the lights and camera in action. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing to do what I love to do, but uh, I'm still an awesome individual outside of my artistry. But when I came back to the business, I was like, who can I trust to, like, you know, catapult me to the top again? And this was, I never say his name, and I'll never say it, because I'm not going to give him that light. Absolutely. But uh, I've known him since I was a kid. So from 18 to 21, he managed me, and a lot of things weren't adding up, and the money wasn't adding up, and... He's riding the big bands. I got the little one, but I'm the artist. You know what I'm saying? Just it was obvious that it wasn't like the the twenty percent rule. Like, yeah, like you were it, the yeah, 20 yeah. And... It was it was very obvious that it was some things done under the table, forging signatures. I remember um, going to like a writing company that I'm signed to, and I was trying to get my next advance, and I was like, oh, I just want seventy five k. It was like, cool, we got it because you recouped the first fifty we gave you, and uh, they turned the computer screen around and was like, oh, actually, we just gave you a hundred thousand. And I was like, what? Like a whole, like, felt like I swallowed a golf ball. I was like, no, nobody gave me a $100,000 check. So I was like, um, let me see the paperwork because I would have to have to, you know, my signature should be on that. My lawyer would have contacted me. Right. And my signature would be on there. And uh, the person, my manager at the time, signed his name and signed mine. And this is why he was managing me. Like, he wasn't snaking me. After posted. Right. I mean, he did do some other things worse, of course, to ruin my life. But Worse than that? Oh, yeah. So, like, after I found that out, that was, like, the final straw. So I fired him, right? Right. I mean, remember, this was, like, my brother, though. So he was co on all my bins, <gasps> primary account holder on my $25,000, $35,000 American Express card, also linked to my personal account. All this was to help me budget my money, make sure that I'm not out I here splurging. I want to make sure you... I'm going to big brother That's how you. it was programmed right, to me right, at 18. Right. You feel me? And, um, Which, in theory, makes sense. It made sense. Right. Not, like, the worst business I've ever done was I just trusted somebody. That was my mistake. I want to make sure to, you know, help Yeah, I was sure like, cool, because I never, mistakes. I didn't have hundreds of thousands of dollars before, and uh, uh, bins and $35,000 limit on my car. So, yeah, watch me. Help make sure I'm not, you know. Guide me. So, uh, when I turned 20, 21, and I got my crib at 20, by the way, I got a crib, I started realizing, like, damn, if I fire this dude, he has access to, all your to stuff. ruin my life. And now, I'm still not thinking he's going to do it, because in my mind, you won, bro. You've been getting more than 20%. You've you got more money than me at this point. Let me you go free. You got the 100000 Yeah, you got the $100,000 check tucked away that else. I ain't know about. Like, right. let me just go free, bro, and figure it out. You go your way, I'll go mine. It wasn't that way at all. In three months, from March to May, Ben's gone. Uh, he took uh, the baby bands? Uh, yeah, yeah, took the baby bands, because his name was on it. He falsely reported it stolen. Literally a cop. Like, I was in court with him. When I came out, my bins was going. Cop was like, do you drive to such and such? I was like, yeah. He was like, good thing we didn't catch you in it. It was reported stolen three days ago. I was like, sir, I've been making payments on this bins for like two years. Like, what are you talking about? So bins gone, credit card turned off, and account liquidated. So I went from having hundreds of thousands of dollars, awesome credit, bins, to zero. That was 2009. Wow. Wild on kissed me through the phone. So no one knew while I'm, like, flying out. Performing with Soldier, we doing Jimmy Kimmel Live, Jay Leno. 
I'm probably eating ramen noodles I probably didn't eat all day. Why wasn't he in jail? Well, remember, he did it kind of legitly. He was my bro, so his name was on the card, legitly. His name was on the account, legitly. But even the, he was the, the bank pro accounts. You, nah, I mean, when your name is on, it's like a marriage. Wow. You feel me? It's like a, you know, pause, it's like a marriage. Like, he had rights to that money. Like, if me and you are in a relationship, but and my name's on the card. he can forge your signature and just... Yeah, yeah. And then you gotta understand, too, I didn't even have money to fight him. How, to, 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 to sue somebody, you have to have money to pay a retainer fee to a lawyer. So just kind of like... I didn't have that. So it was financially taxing and then emotionally taxing. Then I got a deal after the Kiss Me Through the Phone situation with Interscope. Never came out under the umbrella because he sent the cease and desist. He was like, I want A&R credit. I want such and such dollars. Like, people didn't know, like, what I was really going through. So I was just flooding the scene with, like, mixtapes and EPs and... Right. Staying relevant. This is why I flourish on the internet because I was forced to the internet. He forced me there when it was just that piff.com and live mixtapes.com and you know what I mean? And then the shade room and, picked it up. And then, yo, so I already was on the internet. A lot of my fans lost track of me because seven long years I was just trying to figure it out. Right. You know what I mean? And, um, because every time you tried to do something, he was he... stopping it. Even when I wrote Next Breath for Tank, my first like royalty check that came. He tried to make a claim on that. Like, he, he really told me to my face. Like, I, and I had conversations with him some years ago when I was trying to work it out. I was like, bro, what do you want? We'll give you such and such dollars for each album. We'll give you uh, your, your logo. We'll give you your name credit. And just let me be free. He was like, nah, I want you. This is literally the weirdest thing I've ever heard in my life. He was like, I want you. You have to be my so artist was... again. You have to start hanging out with me again. We used to go to the Falcons game. I'm like, bro, you sound like a woman that won't let go. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I can't do business with somebody I know snaked me for hundreds of thousands of dollars. We can't hang out after that. Nah, we're not kicking it. We're not playing Madden. We're not shooting pool and none of that. You know what I mean? Like, just let me be free. And he told me, he's like, I never want to see you flourish without me. And I don't know if I could say the end bomb, but he said you can either come back or get your money up, Lil. N word. That's the last thing he said to me. I never forget. I never forget that. And I. I it's almost like he thought that y'all were like in a relationship. It was right. weird. It was very obsessive and and just crazy and creepy. And I, I love women. You know what I'm saying? Like let me. It was weird. That, and uh, I'm I'm bad. Like this it, is this is a true story. I can't make this you up. You need to write a book. Yeah. Because this is one of I can't, the best I can't, horrible I can't, stories I've But let me I've tell you heard. the beauty in that. It led me back to God, right? Mm -hmm. um, it taught me how to be a singer, songwriter, vocal arranger, pick my own beats. Remember now, all those like big bros that I used to think was big bros, I didn't have a budget, so they wasn't giving me studio time. They wasn't right. writing me records, so I had to learn everything on my own. Start Star Created Camp music on my own. Sign myself to myself. That way, if I do land a situation, I'm a businessman now. I'm not just an artist. So now everything comes through me. I cut everybody they check. Like, no one writes nothing for me. My paperwork come to me, go to my lawyer, we, we talk about it. Like, I'm really a leader. I don't like to say boss, because to me, that's like about telling people what to do. Nah, I lead, though, the right way. You know what I mean? I'm self-sufficient. I don't need you to give me a hit. And then all I knew is I needed one platform to just put me back in front of the world, and I would right. be back. And then June 30th, 2016, God bless the shade room. All they posted was me singing I'm Him, four million views in one day. Now all the labels that said no came back. Came back. And I chose to stay indie. You know, I, I'm used to making 3,000 stretch, so I can make 100,000 or 200,000 stretch. Like, now I'm living again. Like you said, I mean, you got your house, you got your... Yeah. Like, most people just need to get the money to buy the house, the car, yeah. and everything else is just yeah. a and, and then And then I've been through everything you can go through as an artist. The worst thing to, to be in life, I would say, is famous and broke. Because there's a pressure and an expectation put on us, we should dress this kind of way, you should have this kind of jewelry, you should drive this kind of car. You know what I mean? I don't think there's nothing wrong with anybody that flip burgers or push carts at Walmart. I think that's awesome. You know what I'm saying? But if Sammy was doing that, somebody's pulling their phone out and now I'm viral. Right. You tried to, they tried to play Jock the other day. You know, I was with Young Jock last night because he's riding around doing uh, like the Uber. What's wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? Like he's making it. Respect the hustle. Yeah, he's making a decently. He's not out here robbing nobody. You feel me? But the the world puts such a pressure on us artists that I've endured everything there is to endure. I've already been through a repossession. I've already had my credit go from a 780 to a five. Like I've already had to do a modification on a mortgage. So nothing can break me. I didn't lose my mind. I didn't turn to drugs. Clearly, I'm not a bitter person. 
I even love this individual that did that. Like, shout out to him. Thank you, because you made me great. You made me dig into my inner lion. You feel me? That's why I call myself Young Lion. Like, I'm a king. You feel me? And all I have is education and wisdom and knowledge to spread to people because there's light at the end of the tunnel. Right. You feel me? One viral video literally has changed, changed your whole life. my life. You would have never told me Instagram would be the way. I thought I could just walk into a meeting and they'd be like, oh, he's still talented. Or the girls still love him. Or he can sing his ass off. Let's sign him. Nah. They told me no. And then one post. The people chose me. The world chose me. And God orchestrated in a way where I can only give him the glory. You feel me? And that's the beauty in it. The beauty is my relationship now with God. Like, nothing, I don't care what happens tomorrow or today. It's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Because I've overcome everything there is to overcome. Well, and, you know, the thing that's kind of frustrating is that we glorify spending $700 on a pair of jeans yeah. or, you know, you got to have a $100,000 chain or, you know, you got to waste money on material things versus, you know, something that Jay-Z said such a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We need to take this money and invest and yeah, teach buy our some kids land, how to Buy some land, art, some things that's, that's some equity. Anything with equity in it versus, you know, $600 Balenciaga I think shoes. that's what made me upset is that I never tricked off my money. Like, I don't, this chain was a gift from Tank. This is a purple amethyst. <laughs> this was gifted by my mentor. Like, I don't, I think I bought my first pair of uh, red bottoms, like, and it kind of made my stomach hurt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm yeah. like, why did I just spend $1,300? Really you know, and I wore them twice, and they mad uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Joe go room. Like, I look good, but <laughs> where the vans at? Give me some right. tucks. Like, I'm very a simple guy. You know what I'm saying? And now that I even have money again, like, I was, I was just going to go get a G-Wagon, right? And I was like, hell no. I like the... Jeep Grand Cherokee, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? I was going to get a new crib, and I was like, nah, let me put more money into this one, take my equity out. That way when I sell it, or I can pass it down to my little bro or my sister. You know what I'm saying? Like, Start my mind, mind put my yeah, but get a candle. Like, I'm a businessman now. It's not about looking like money. It's about actually having, having it. Having money. You feel me? And the richer I get, the wealthier I get, the poorer I will look. You know what I mean? Because I don't... I don't care about the flash. I don't even care about fame. That just comes with the territory of being the face of the music. Mm -hmm. I care about influence. I care about peace. I care about love. Um, losing Kobe Bryant was, I got it tatted right here. That was like oh, my wow. idol. Like uh, I love, you know, you just never thought a man with the world and a beautiful family and the girls. It, it shows that God is still in control. And when it's time for you to go, what, what did you do while you were here? And if people only talking about me singing, I didn't do my job. Right. If oh, oh he was a cute guy and he can sing his he had ass a great off. Song. That's not it. You know what I'm saying? It's my job to spread godliness and love and peace for as long as God blessed me to be here. And going through those things for those seven years, it taught me that. I don't care about nothing that's that's physical. I'm a spiritual guy. If anything, I would say any artist who is listening should definitely take heed to your words, and you really could write a book on this whole scenario. <laughs> a movie, a book. A book, a movie, yeah, all Yeah, I mean, that. I'm a living vessel, though, man. I, 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 I know I sound redundant because I speak on God every time I get a chance to, but it's like... But uh, you're supposed I to. I can't help it. You feel me? Like, I just can't help it. Like, for me to overcome it the way I overcame it, it's like a movie. I don't know how I was able to keep a crib, take care of my sister, help my brother. You had faith. Take care, to, yeah, help my dad and my mom. All of this... Sometimes with $2,000 to my name, that is not a lot of money in my world. I'm going to be honest, you know, I humbly say that. that That's a mortgage, you know what I'm saying? Like, if. So, I don't know. Like, it's a refreshing thing to be on this side of the story telling y'all, like, yo, whoever's listening, whoever's watching this, whatever you're going through in your life, if I can get through what I went through and still come out with love in my heart and no hatred towards this man, it's not that bad. So, if you're going through a breakup, a divorce, a separation, you lost somebody, Grieve, cry, feel. I'm not saying don't let it phase you, mm. but let it make you greater than right. you were before that situation occurred. Because I'm like living proof. Even like the Millennium Tour, my fans made an uproar when I wasn't on it. You and know what I mean? And I, this and, I, and, I, and I and I felt a way, but not like towards anyone specifically. Right. It was more like, yo, you call it the Millennium Tour. I was the first child star of my Millennium. I should be I on should there. Be in the, uh, my name should be in the hat. That's just how I felt. And, and I, I was verbal agree. about it. My fans was verbal about it. And... The way even they reached out to me directly, I don't know if it was Gary or but somebody from his campaign while I was on my solo tour DM me and was like, yo, who handles your booking? I didn't know what it was about, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know there was even another leg. I was like, uh, Skino, that's my manager, woo woo woo. Went on about my day, two months later, here I am. So it goes to show too, to just keep going. 
You know what I'm saying? You don't know what God has in store for you. You feel me? I didn't do anything spectacular to be on this tour but be myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being Sammy, and that's all I could be. I don't wear no costumes. I don't play the politics game. I don't do none of that. I just simply be, and uh, it's gotten me very, very far in life. Well, we are so excited to see you on the Sam. Uh, the, I'm about to say the Sammy tour, <laughs> the Millennium tour. Yeah, thank you. And people need to go get their tickets. If they need to get their tickets, yeah. where do they go? Go to gsquaredevents.com. Um, like I said, they're going fast, so make sure y'all get them. They are going fast. We all have uh, meet and greet packages as well, so look into that. And uh, we kick off on the 29th of this month, uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And um, I'm excited and humbled and blessed, and I'm ready to rock. And for those who want to follow you that uh, didn't know where your social media is, where can they go? Uh, my IG, my website, and my Twitter is Sammy Always, S A M M I E A L W A Y S. And then my Facebook and Snapchat is Sammy Lee Bush. We are so excited. I cannot wait to thank see you, this Beyonce. year. I and thank you so much for coming by. And congratulations on your bundle of joy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Love.